Well, welcome to Sunday Dinner Bayou Edition. Today, we were blessed with a great catch of flounder. We have four keepers here, one about 17, 18, and the other three right a little over 14 inches, which for us is ideal. One of our favorite meals as a family is whole fried flounder. And today, I'm gonna sh show everyone how to do this step by step. And uh, we're gonna go ahead and get these cleaned. We're gonna de-head them. We're going to take all the scales off. I'm going to show you how to prepare them to fry them whole. It's truly a blessing and a fan, fantastic meal. So with that, um, appreciate y'all joining us today and look forward to sharing this great recipe with you. All right. So as you can see here, I've already got two of these flounder completely clean, descaled, the heads cut off, got all the internal organs out and they're nice and clean here. So I'm gonna show you what I have here. This is just a wire grill brush is all this is. This is a really efficient tool to get the scales off. And as you can see here, I'm gonna use my boga grip. This is kind of leverage. I'm gonna go against the grain. And you see how quickly the scales just come right off with this grill brush. Fantastic tool for the job. Um, very, very efficient here. See here, quickly. And just like that. We pretty much have all the scales off of this one side here. Just like that. All right, one of the great things about the flounder is it is actually two-sided. So we just kind of flip them over here. Do the same thing on the other side. Just kind of holding his head steady here. Getting this other side nice and clean. I got both sides scaled. I'm gonna now just take off the head and prepare them. I'm gonna come right behind the gill plate and kind of come under here. I'm gonna quickly remove the organs so I can then go ahead and just pop through that head. Kind of just have to feel for it here. There we are. And boom. Just like that, we have the head. I'm gonna discard it right here for my crabs. Go ahead and finish cleaning it. It's obviously just kind of keep cleaning it as I go. Clean out that internal cavity. I'm gonna do a little more cleanup after this, but just like that, that's how quickly you can get a flounder deheaded, scaled, and ready for the hot grease and an incredible meal. All right, right here we have one of the flounder we cleaned just earlier. And as you can see, this is about a 15 inch flounder and we've deheaded it and we've prepared it to um, process here. And what we're gonna do is we're gonna cut this in a cross-sectional grid. And what that's gonna do is after we fry it, every little cross-sectional grid, little square piece is gonna come right off the bone. And you'll see what I'm talking about here in just a second. So the first cut we're gonna do is right down the center. And you can kind of see the lateral line there. And we're gonna go straight down the middle of this and go straight to the bone. Perfect. We don't want to go through the bone, just all the way through the bone in a nice slit. The next thing we're going to do here is make a very light score here on the outside of the fish, okay? Here we're not trying to really go much further, but what it's going to do is allow you to pick up every bite once we get in it. All right. Again, we're just kind of scoring this on the outside here. We're not trying to cut too much into the fish or into the, into the meat. Okay, I'm gonna turn this this way and I'm gonna do the same thing on this side here. And again, you can see some of the scales still remaining. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna wash this one more time quickly to get any of the scales that kind of remain as I do this. All right, perfect. Perfect, that's all you wanna do there. Okay, so now that <clears throat> we've done along the sides, we're gonna do one more cut right in the middle here, going all the way to the bone, but not through the bone. And as you can see, now we have it about halfway between there and there. All right, one more time. So this is splitting this basically in the quarters. Perfect. And again, we're gonna do this on both sides. I'm gonna demonstrate on one but again, as we talked about, flounder do have two sides. <clears throat> so now I'm gonna come here and make the cross section. 
perfect. I'm gonna do it like this. You wanna kind of think about how big of a bite you want. And again, I'm, the goal is to try not to go through the backbone, but all the way through. All the way down. A nice sharp knife is always huge help here. You see I'm using my Bubba Blade flexible fillet knife. All right, and then one more on this side. Okay. All right, I'm gonna flip it over and do the other side, and after I'm done that, we'll come back to the next process, which is gonna go ahead and get the batter on it, as well as seasoning it, getting ready to fry. Okay, so you can see here, we have the complete flounder cross-sectioned, and if you zoom in here, you can see each side now is completely done. And it's gonna allow every bite to come off after we um, fry this. So what I'm gonna do is I got some Old Bay here. I'm gonna lightly dust the entire flounder with Old Bay. You can kind of actually open this up here a little bit, get it inside the little pockets. I don't wanna over season it, but I find that Old Bay is a perfect balance for this fish. All right, perfect. Okay, after I do that, I have some fish fry here, which we've seasoned with Tony Sachery's, which is our favorite here. You can do whatever you want. Use a seasoned fish fry, whatever your family prefers. I'm gonna kind of get some of the air out. I'm just gonna come in here, and let the fish fry, coat the flounder, go back and forth, get it kind of in the grooves here. Make sure you got both sides well done. I'm kind of just kind of opening it up and closing it. Boom, you got both sides done. Okay, now that's done. I'm gonna kind of shake it off. Try to shake off any excess here. Perfect. All right. With that, you can see it's a perfectly battered fish, kind of inside and out, both sides. All right. With that, we're gonna go get our oil hot, let this um, set for just a few minutes, let it set in and get ready to start frying. So we have our seasoned flounder here. As you can see, uh, I did, did one more step. I did cut the tail off. It's gonna help fit in the frying basket better, but we are gonna throw that tail in there as we always fight over it. It's like a little potato chip. It's fantastic. All right, so what I got here. You see why I cut the tail off. Perfect. I got that in there. We're gonna now lower it slowly into the oil. Make sure it doesn't stick, perfect. Nice and settled, I'm gonna throw that tail in there. I'm gonna let this sit just for a second. Now I know it's nice and controlled. I'm gonna go ahead and put this top on here. Perfect. I'm gonna let that now cook for around eight to 10 minutes, watching it the whole time. I'm gonna occasionally just kind of stir the basket, make sure it's not sticking to the fry basket. And uh, once you see it get really nice and golden brown, you know the fish is already done. So with that, let's um, let this cook up and I'll join you here in a few minutes. All right, so the flounder took right around seven to eight minutes, and as you can see, it's perfectly golden brown. And as you can see what I'm talking about, each little section now is gonna come off on a perfect little bite. So kids, uh, this is where we get the reward of an incredible day of fishing and sharing on time with our family. So let's enjoy. Yeah. All right. Oh my God, you see how it just comes perfectly up? Mmm. Oh. If y'all have not had fresh fried flounder, you're missing out. And with that, we're going to go ahead and keep eating this. And I hope y'all join us on the next Sunday dinner. All right, kids, let's, um, let's polish this off. We may have to save a couple bites for your mom. Mm-hmm.